Hey folks, we're gonna cut the chamfer on uh, the lid of the box. I told you about that uh, the other day, how this lid has a, uh, and let me show you to you under the GoPro. It's got a slight uh, fracture in the end grain of that wood. And by cutting a chamfer all the way around here, it's gonna get rid of that mostly and, uh, and decorate the thing really nicely. The chamfer is going to work well because I would have put that, I think if I had thought of it, I would have put that on there. But that's the uh, uh, good deed of necessity that, uh, that we just discovered. So anyway, um, I'm going to use this as a piece of scrap to uh, measure the chamfer when I first go. I've got the quarter inch collet, uh, so we'll need to raise this up. Uh, the first thing I need to do is get the fence because I'm going to use the other fence behind here to run against because... A chamfer bit which is right here by the way here's a little chamfer bit let me look yeah you can see here's a little chamfer bit and it's got a little point you see up there and there's no ball bearing basically I have to have a fence so that this thing rubs up against it and this is going to cut that 45 degree angle off that off that uh, top all the way around so uh, I'll show you how I set that up so here is the uh, fence coming from up under here uh, let's see we're looking at it right here on this shelf so this comes out like this this is just a stop that I don't need right now and I'm gonna actually hold it with the hand that's holding the GoPro at the same time since it takes two hands to get this up and there's a lot of contraptions on the back of this fence that you can see there that are built into the fence of course right here is a uh, dust collection port and these connect to this other fence over here so that uh, I can use that fence to move it back and forth if I need to keep it in a parallel line uh, matter of fact I may hook that up uh, right now so anyway we'll put this uh, GoPro here hang on one second while I adjust the angle of it right there and uh, our, I have to remember to get it closer to the bit when we get ready to put that on there. But in order to hook this fence up to this, to this fence, I move the fence over fairly close. And you see how it fits perfectly up against there. And this will move with it as soon as I put two clamps on it. And uh, let me make sure this is recording. Yeah, it's recording. Okay. Uh, Two of these clamps are designed to fit on there perfectly. Uh, and I want to make sure the fence is centered to that bit. It is. And this clamp goes right here. Tightens up. This clamp goes right here. Tightens up. And now when I move this fence, the whole thing moves together. And uh, I can lock it down. I can also lock this down uh, by screwing it down, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that right now. Uh, because actually when I lock it down, it, it's not moving, so it, it can't move at all. So that's in good shape. So uh, we've seen this before. This is the little uh, tool holder, tool caddy. And I'm going to get this uh, spanner wrench to take this off. It came off real easily that time. It didn't the last time because the router was all the way up towards the top and it was preventing it from leaning. So I'll set that over here. I'll set this over here. This is the one that I'm going to put on there. But uh, in the meantime, I need to get this router pulled up. And that's with this little device right here. There's a flat on the end of it. And the flat faces this way. And if I push that flat down, it'll engage at the bottom and I twist it and now I can once I've got it twisted I can pull up with it and then I take the flat and point it back towards me and that locks it in place so um, I'll put that right so the this screw is held in there I mean the collet is held in there so I should be able to just take this half incher off of there and put this quarter incher right in there and this time I'm going to remember to tighten up the, the bit before I start dropping it. So that's tight. And 
uh, will now take the, uh, I wish I knew what to call this. I'll call this the fast elevator. All right, so now I've got to push down and, and then turn it just enough to get to where it did. And I'm gonna eyeball it down the side here. That's close enough for me to use this little hand wheel to uh, adjust the final height. And it's not just the, uh, the fence that I need to get to get right. Uh, it's the height of the bit and everything else that I need to get right. So I'm going to bring this up close to me here. Up, oh, got to put this on there first. The little black mark goes towards the front. And then the spanner wrench is over here. I've got a short end and a long end. Usually the short end works just fine. Tighten it up like that. And then it'll be ready for the next thing we do. Now, let me examine this fence a little bit. In fact, I'm going to move the light over here. See if I can't get it to, to look at what we're working on here. And I don't want it to uh, be in the way of anything. It may be in the way of that GoPro at some point. So I may put the GoPro right over here. No, I'll put it, yeah, right over here for right now. And let me see what it looks like. Yeah, you can see the table. So, uh, the GoPro is still in the way because I'm going to move that fence all the way this way once I get it moving. And I've got to move the lamp with it, believe it or not, which I'll do. And these things aren't centered. I'll just move them around a little bit here. That gives enough clearance on the left side with that thing. The GoPro should have been seeing that. So I was centering these two things around the bit. Uh, and then I'll unscrew these things on the back side here and move those to the center of the bit, bit there. And that should give us a nice fence to to rub this up against as we're going across here. And then, how far forward the fence needs to come is a matter of, uh, see if I came that far forward, it wouldn't make any cut at all. I'm going to turn the bit so that it is, the peak of it and the sides of it face this way like that. And uh, I'll be able to, uh, and I want, I certainly want, don't want to go any past the top edge of that thing right there. So let me go get something to measure with. I'll get, uh, where is that little rule? Here it is. So this is just to see if it's, if it's gonna be level with that, and it is. I'm gonna bring the fence a little bit more forward and um, this is going to be pretty much trial and error when we start cutting on it. I'm just looking down here. I can see that if I cut it right there, it will leave a little bit of, the, of it down there. And that, that might be exactly where I want it as uh, luck goes. So that's done like that. I got to get the dust collection for up here plugged in. So let me come up here. Move this over the top of the camera, get it out of the way, and then plug this in right here. I'll move this sort of over here where it's out of the way. So this dust collector will work. This bottom dust collector is already hooked up to the dust bin right here. I've got to close the dust bin door so it doesn't leak any dust out. And that does look good. Right there. Let me see if the GoPro can see that. So, I'm focusing in on this point right here. So let me, let me get the GoPro closer. I'm focusing in on that corner. Can you see how much of that? Let me move the light over here. That might help a little bit. So you can see that, that much of the corner is gonna get cut off as I come by there, leaving a little bit left up there. And I may have to move the fence backwards uh, a little bit to, to, to get the rest of it going. But uh, we'll see how that works. 
like that. Uh, I thought you could turn this GoPro on there. Oh, you can like that. But that didn't help much. So, this is what we do. I think the GoPro is fairly steady now. And uh, although it may not be once we turn this on. But I'm going to cut this uh, as it is right there and see how it goes. So, dust uh, uh, ear protection and turn both of the uh, dust collectors on. And then I'll start the router up and we'll run this test with it. You can see the chamfer you can see a slight little facet on that edge and this is about the same thickness as the spalted top so I've got this little chamfered edge right there with a nice little flat showing up right there you can see the shadow of the flat right there and now you can see the shadow of the chamfer and uh, so that's the shape and we're going to do that all the way around so what I'm going to do now is test to see if I can go end grain across this thing and not cause any problems so here goes
quite a big job. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how much you heard of what I just said about all that, uh, but uh, I've been talking about the chamfering. We still can see part of the little, uh, a little breakout right there. Uh, the chamfer got about half of it taken care of. I'm, I really don't want to go any further down on the chamfer than I have, so what's left of this we can take care of with a little bit of wood filler, a little bit of sanding, and uh, we'll go with it from there. But that chamfer looks quite neat all the way around there. It doesn't, it's not going to require much sanding, if any, at all. So uh, that's the use of this fence. That's the use of, uh, and I could have showed you how I can adjust this fence with, with that little screw thing and just, and just come in and out real easily. I can also raise and lower this bit with this wheel right here uh, quite easily. And... Uh, uh, all, and then I can lock it down with, with this tool right here. Once I get the bit height set, I can lock it down and it, it'll stay that way for if you're doing a whole lot of wood. I did not lock it down for this thing uh, because I didn't think it needed it. But I would have been sorry if I hadn't, uh, if it hadn't worked out well. Uh, so I probably should have. Anyway, uh, that's it for this little video. I think I'm going to connect this to a longer set of video that's going to include uh, cutting the, the, the top off. Uh, so we got this ready to go down into the top, not glued yet, but used to uh, cut the top off of this thing. So uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Hey folks, that turned out to be a little uh, 17 and a half minute video, which I think is a good size for cutting off. I like that size. I know I said I was going to attach it to the front end of, a, of another video, where we cut the top in half, but I, I think that deserves its own video. Uh, 17 minutes, anywhere between, you know, 10 to 30 minutes is fine. Anything longer than that is just too long. And, uh, but the 17 is just a perfect size. So be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified of anything we send out new. Thanks.